This video is my fourth and final one of a day of riding Stanley Gap in Blue Ridge, Georgia, which just so happened to be during the day of the Bigfoot Enduro Race, which I didn't know was going on until that day. So the descent that I show in this video is stage six of that race. I'll include a little over a minute of climbing because I cleared a section that I haven't cleared in a really long time. In fact, I think I've only cleared it one other time. On this day, I was riding the Ibis Mojo, which is a 27.5 inch wheel all mountain bike that I had as a demo during that time. And that's a good segue for me to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is the Pros Closet. Unless you've been living under a rock lately, you'll know that bikes and parts are really hard to get right now, so the Pro's Closet may be a good option for you. They have a large selection of certified pre-owned bikes. What that means is they have mechanics on staff that go over the bikes from top to bottom. They'll clean them, they'll replace worn parts, and get them running as good as new. So check out the Pro's Closet. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. And now on to my final video of this day of riding Stanley Gap. This is one of the rock and root gardens that I cannot ride up. I don't think you can ride up it. I think you have to do a Jeff Lenoski trials hop up it, which I personally don't know anybody that could do that. Coming up to a section that I have only cleaned once or twice. It's brutal. And I think it's gotten more eroded over the years. And when I cleaned it, I was on a 29er. We're going to give it a shot. There it is. It's menacing. When you're going up a hill, fun coming down. So I'm going to go to the right and avoid that really nasty root ledge. Heck yeah. All right, this is the start of stage six, which is actually a little bit of an out and back spur right in the very beginning. And then we're gonna take a right and go back down to the south end parking lot off of Rock Creek Road. There's a pretty sketchy rock garden in the beginning. I had to walk up it. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna be going down, but I'm gonna time myself again on this one just to see how I would have done in this race. Here we go. I got my timber bell on, so you're gonna have to put up with it. I saw some hikers, so I needed to consider it.
lightly uphill here. Just real short. It's mainly downhill from here. Oh, no, not quite. A little flat here. Slightly uphill. Almost washed out on an off camber rock. That would suck. The last descent of the trip. Just me. Just me. Just me. Hands burning. I 
Ideally, enduro races would be on closed courses, but you can't close a whole trail system just for your race. Yeah, this is where an enduro bike would really help because this bike's 140, 27.5 wheels, but it'd get a little rough. If I were not timing myself, I'd probably take a little break and let my hands recover. Whew. Gotta remind myself to stay loose. back to the parking lot. I actually missed my enduro bike right now. So I have to slide uphill. Probably good for the hands to recover. Last little downhill section, I think. If I were racing and not using or not making a video, I'd keep this timber bell on the whole time. Here's the stop. That is Stanley Gap, back to Rock Creek Road and heading back to the car.